Good morning, Quadcopter 101 here, and I have a follow-up review of the Isheen 250 racer. Now, in my previous reviews, I noted that um, the control of this quadcopter was kind of screwy, <laughs> the way it is right out of the factory. It needed some fine-tuning of the CC3D board uh, in here, uh, right, where is that board, that is it, right? Yeah, that's it, right there. Um, what I did was, I downloaded LibrePilot and updated the uh, software on that board, and then on top of that, I used LibrePilot's um, wizard to uh, fine-tune this board, and also I used presets uh, for the QAV250 and uploaded the presets of the QAV250. One of my viewers recommended that I do such to improve stability of this quadcopter. And that's what today's flight is about. We're going to see how the QAV250 presets, which are available in Libra Pilot, along with many other quadcopters, by the way, you can make this thing fly like just about any, any other quadcopter you can think of with this programmable flight control board. But let's see if the QAV250 flight control parameters are suitable for the Isheen 250. Um, another thing I did, uh, after I, my last flight, I actually accidentally hit the ground again. You didn't see that because I didn't uh, record that particular video, but I broke uh, more props on this. Uh, with that in mind, I went out and purchased uh, GemFam. GemFan, I'm sorry, uh, 5030s, I believe. Let me see. Yeah, 5030s. Uh, on this supposedly they're more resistant to impacts with the ground than uh, the stock propellers that come with this and we're going to find out today hopefully maybe hopefully we won't find out today <laughs> so uh let's see what other thing um that's about it folks i just want to see how this perform performs with qav 250 presets so i hope you enjoy this flight let's go do it okay i have my fpv screen attached to my tripod over there along with my uh, sunshade. Um, I also have a rec recorder in there, but I am going to be mostly flying line of sight today. Again, I want to see what these presets feel like with the quadcopter, so uh, I'm w flying line of sight in effect today. Uh, do have a camera on the quadcopter, of course, so we are going to be recording video. Let's make sure that camera's in there snugly. And turning on that camera. My run cam, by the way. I like the run cams there. They are good cameras. I'm sorry, you're not seeing that. <laughs> Turning on the transmitter. And plugging in the quadcopter. And all switches are up. Now, I just flew the Wakira Furious 250 just before this. And <laughs> that was an interesting big quadcopter. So, flying this now, this feels like a tiny little quadcopter compared to that uh, Furious. Um, let's see, I'm going unlocking, and also I'm turning the throttle hold off. I want to see what, if this enters into, um, into idle. No, it does not. I like that idle on the, uh, Furious 250, or Furious 320. So, we're unlocked. Okay, ready? Let's go for a flight of the Ishin 250 Racer. With presets of the QAV 250. Let's see how it feels. Now, mainly I'm going to be flying line of sight, even though I'm recording the um, uh, FPV from this. Main reason being, I want to evaluate whether this is better than the presets that come with it from the factory. And yes, right now it appears to be quite a bit better, much more stable. Well, there we go. It's a little bit less stable. There's, well, it's, it has a little bit of a tilt. It's, it's not like a uh, toy grade quadcopter which levels itself quickly. This one takes a few seconds, so you need some space to fly this thing. Let me check, make sure that uh, my FPV is recording. Well, I got a signal. Got a good signal from this. For some reason, my Furious didn't have such a good signal as this one does. What's my battery power on this? 10.9. What's my battery? 10.9. Okay. I'm going to fly just a little bit more. Apparently, I didn't charge that battery fully before coming out here. That's a shame. The 
Let's do a high speed run down the gully. Semi high speed. Yeah, this one's easy to fly. It feels good. Feels good flying it. So those 250 presets are good. They work out well with this. So thanks, uh, whoever recommended that. That's what's neat about this particular quadcopter, the way you can adjust it. If you don't like the way it flies, adjust it. Ooh, it didn't level itself. <laughs> Why didn't it level itself? Well, I gotta go get it, folks. It impacted the ground pretty damn fast, too. I hope it's in one piece. It tumbled quite a bit through the desert here. If it's still in one piece, I have more props. Yeah, I was... Well, I recovered it. That took quite a spill there, folks. Um, it appears to have broken every prop on this, but I'm looking at the structure. <laughs> I'm surprised how strong this, this sucker is. Holy moly, that hit hard. But, you know, it hit hard into dirt. It wasn't concrete I hit, so, um, and it tumbled for quite a bit rolling in the desert over there. So, um, and my camera, my run cam took, a, took off and was found about 20, 30 feet away. Um, I had a hard time finding this, actually. That also testifies to the, the toughness of these run cams. You know, these are perfect for including with uh, uh, quadcopters and such, especially racers. i got to clean the lens a bit, but all in all, the, the run cam's still operational. Um, the motors, some of these motors appear to have dirt inside of them. i I got to try, I'm going to try blowing air in there and see if that loosens things up there. But all in all, I think this is still flyable. Um, once I change the props, which is a testament to the Ishin 250, if that's true. So I hope you enjoyed this flight. Uh, the next flight will be um, uh, FPV flying with this. Uh, I don't know what actually happened there, folks. It went into the ground there. It started to lose uh, power. I think I, the battery was probably depleted at that point, and that's why I smacked into the ground there. I was losing altitude. I was applying more power. And I was still losing altitude, and it was still tilting. It wasn't leveling off. You know, I was giving it more power to try to raise it up uh, with the pitch and roll sticks centered, but still it went into the ground. So I think I flew it until I depleted battery power. So that's why I'm saying the next flight, I am going to be paying attention to the battery power by flying FPV. Um, all in all, you know, it was flying very well up until that, that ending there. Okay, hope you enjoyed this flight. It's Quadcopter 101, signing out.